hey there welcome back to my channel if you found yourself watching this video chances are you clicked on the topic i regret moving to the us question mark um so buckle up because this is where you're meant to be <laughs> whether you're planning a visit to the us or already in the process on whichever type of visa you're coming to the us on you would it's normal for you to get these types of video but to be honest it's only natural to have questions and concerns that's why i'm here to dive into the nitty-gritty and you know share my experiences with you don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more insightful content because this video is about to be fun Drop your thoughts in the comments as well as share this video to your friends and family so that we can spread the word. Now let's get right into the video. Right. So sometime last week, I put out a poll here on YouTube asking fans, viewers, friends and family to, you know, pick up a topic that I could, you know, talk about. And then the highest response that I got is do people actually really do regret moving to the US. So based on my experiences on the first video that I made, I shared it, um, I think four or five days ago um i did not say a word in the video i was just like that day i was going to like a boat cruise i also was going for dinner and i was spending time with family so i just did like a compilation of that video and i just posted it because i wanted people who were watching to have the you know to be the one to decide if you know i really do regret moving to the us so today i'm going to be diving into in from basic information you know comparing the lifestyle and the standard of living for someone like me who's a nigerian um you know compare the experiences that i have experienced here and then see how it relates to the one that i experienced back in the day in nigeria if this is the first time you're coming across my youtube channel or any of my entirety please make sure to hit the subscribe button don't forget to like don't forget to share now there's one thing that i've always like heard even before coming into the united states like everyone would literally be telling you prepare for your depression stage off the top of my head i'm like do you wish me to be depressed you know I mean, I've been here two months now and in some type of way, I can relate to everything that they were saying, if I have to be honest, because sometimes, you know, you're on your own, you're still in a state of culture shock. And then, you know, the people around you are acting weird. And then you're like, ah, oh, what the fuck's go what's going on? I was able to handle, you know, that kind of issue was, you know, just focus on doing the things that I love. Recently, I started to work out, you know, spend more time in the gym, releasing, releasing energy and, you know, trying to cook my native meals because when i spend time trying to source for my local ingredients you know and you know spend time in the kitchen cooking my food it reminds me of home reminds me of friends and you know i'm able to battle that so i don't think that everyone eventually gets to that depression stage but yeah they'll tell you to be prepared for it i think i want to generally talk about the quality of life right and the access to healthcare is very amazing. There are NGOs, there are organizations that are ready to support you, irrespective of what type of visa type you're visiting a country with. There are programs in America that are put in place to help you get access to healthcare because healthcare is something that's really important. And then you'll be surprised at how fast you know you're able to get this done. Um I can remember like rushing a friend of mine who, who just got into an accident back there in Nigeria to the hospital. We waited for over eight, nine hours and then we never got anybody attend to us. There was no light at the hospital. So I feel like in terms of like healthcare, where the, in America, there's a better healthcare system in place. Even though people who are residents here, people who are citizens here will tell you that America has a shitty healthcare, but I mean, I beg to differ because what I've seen and what I have experienced is the opposite. Like I said, I'm going to be sharing my reactions based on um, my own point of view, comparing it to the things that I experienced back in the day. Now, you also can get access to mortgage. I'm sure like everyone who's watching this video knows what mortgage is. This is like loans that are available to you for you to, you know, get an apartment and you're able to, you know, pay back from time to time. It's like we don't have access to these things in Nigeria. It's like you're getting a loan and it's like it's so difficult for you to have a loan even when you're earning money they're like oh what you're earning is not enough and then the minimum wage is not even enough for you to be able to scale up and say oh you want to request for a bigger loan so i think that you know like it's really good things are really good making so much sense you know i've i've, I've just spoken about like getting loans mortgages I've, I've just spoken about like access to healthcare. i think that the road transport network 
and yeah the road transport network and google maps that's another fascinating thing that i've seen you know um the road transport is so good the roads are great of course you, you get to some places and then there are minor you know differences here and there but like the road is amazing um i don't fully understand how the google map works yet but i just follow so i cannot like emphasize enough on the benefits that even like the citizens of this country get from their government if i have to list a lot okay let's start from social security you get to a certain age and you're able to you know get funds from the government you know and you're able to have a life for yourself even after resigning from active service um i want to also talk about like the phone service now the phone service now you pay a certain amount and you're exposed to like unlimited data and unlimited credit to make phone calls it's like these kind of things are like for me they're they're big they're they're a big deal for me because like from where i'm from i never get to like see stuff like that it's like you need to be um a senior manager or you need to be some um rich man for you to have access to these kind of things whereas over here like people who are just starting life are they have the necessary arms they need to you know become successful at whatever they're doing and then to also have a life here right now there's like medic aid and there's also medicare for like aged people or vulnerable people to be able to access health care super amazing super fantastic it's like so today's video i just really wanted to like just talk about how you know how the standard of living is very much better than <clears throat> than what it is back there in nigeria so at this point if you ask me if i do regret like coming to the us i think the answer would be definitely no so guys thank you so much for watching um till i make the next video i still remain my humble self kidian thanks